Hi YouTube, I am back. Okay, um, whoa, has the weather changed so quickly here in California? Well, where I live, um, it's starting to get hot. Of course, our hot is different, but it's still hot. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get started here. I have four options. See what we have. I haven't done a financial reading in months, so let's just see what we get. It's going to be very specific. I have a feeling I don't know what we're getting, but of course, you know, um, I'm going to try to. There's a there's a message in here for everybody because it does have it does the cards that I that I purchase are give more guidance, and I always suggest to take readings as guidance because. Uh, you know there's always shifts there it's always i also it's very general too most of the time um you you want to take it as guidance okay um so let's just get started here okay, so i have four options we have the triangle the x the square and the circle okay so let's get started and see what we have hopefully we get something good triangle let's see what we have for triangle okay okay so oh interesting um we have unrealistic okay some of you are probably have your expectations in the future are a little bit too out of reach maybe you need to revise something i hate saying that because you know you want to always shoot for the stars and land somewhere near um that's my thought but maybe it's my pisces moon uh, that feels that way but um i don't know some of you are maybe have a bigger a, too much of like a huge vision that you need to have small steps on how to get there you know maybe it's that it you know maybe you're trying to shoot for the stars right away but maybe you have to um you have to go by steps you know what is what do you have to do in one week to in order to get closer to where you want to be you know that is the kind of um goals you might be needing to set for yourself you know um one day at a time one week at a time whatever you're trying to manifest okay for um others of you maybe you're setting up you're setting yourself up for failure which i do see here that someone here is stressing maybe you have too much going on in your life um you might be wanting to reach this kind of independence in your life and it's getting a little too much or maybe you're feeling like things are changing too much in your life but you know what i'm seeing here is that maybe you are dreaming of a different life and you're manifesting different life but it's time for you to move on from something else maybe things are changing and you don't see how that is leading to something that you want because it seems as if you have some kind of desire here or you want it you want more meaningful or a, a purpose here but it's gonna take for you to let go of something or to change something very drastic very or a move on from something okay um and be more independent let's see what this is i forgot my glasses if you're not self-employed it might be time to have an entrepreneur mindset i feel like anybody that even is not into like business or investments or anything like that that they should always have i feel like everybody should have an entrepreneur mindset um you know um let's see consider investing and committing yourself to your own business maybe that's what you're trying to do um your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone you can do it so maybe you're trying to be independent and trying to juggle too much at a time because we have the nine of swords here which is a lot of stress you're overloading yourself and failing to stay on top of things maybe you're juggling way too much too many roles or projects um so try to maintain balance between work and maybe even your personal life maybe there is a huge change happening here 
Mm, sometimes we think that we're going through some huge changes, like everything's falling apart. Because, um, but in reality, it's shifting us. It's shifting us to go towards and forcing us to go a different direction. The direction that you might not know that maybe it's something that you want. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe some of you also unrealistic could also be that you're thinking too negative and it's not the way it, it's not what it seems. You know? Let's see. Let's look into it. Um, but for most of you, I feel like it's funny. I did say shoot for the stars and we do have the stars here. Maybe there is a dream here that you're trying to fulfill and you don't see it coming true things could be shifting or you could be needing to go um, to end something here for some reason. Change. Change something in your approach um, or the way that you are maybe trying to look for a new job. The way that you are, how do I say, um, approaching a situation. The way that you're thinking too. Um, some of you are needing to cut your losses and move towards something that is really you because the star could also bring like the message that you need to be authentic you need to be who you truly are follow you who you really are what is it that you really want what is it that you really enjoy you know being truthful to yourself authentic um, um yeah Sometimes it could um, also be that you're receiving some kind of like um, recognition, but here with the cards around it, it doesn't seems more of the first the first um, storyline I gave. But let's see, what is this unrealistic about? Give me more. Wow. See. It is. Some of you are, uh, most of the time, you know, most of the time I feel like this is a subconscious thing. Maybe you're lacking hope, of course, in the forefront. You're probably lacking hope, talking negative, thinking that you don't have enough, you know, or this happened and you're wallowing in that victim mentality. I hate that word because I feel like we can all... Again, this could be my moon sign talking. <laughs> the way that I feel about things is that um, you should try to get out of that victim mentality or that lack mentality. Maybe that is what it is, that your mentality is just not there. Uh, maybe, yeah, like maybe something is just not working out or you're l losing hope on something. I know that the um, Pentacles is something a lot more tangible but to me it feels like it's loss of hope i always feel that with this like lack of something you might be feeling this or maybe you're setting up yourself to fail uh, you have an, uh, an idea like i said maybe you need to start small what is this independent Oh, wow. So there's opportunities opening up for you. But is it what you truly want? So there could be some temptations too um, coming around. Is it truly what you want though? You, and re do your research. What is it that you really like to do? Um, do your research on everything. You know, my previous job, when I first started, I had to do my research. I had, I wanted to be the best out there, you know, do the best that I can always do. Um because I'm kind of a perfectionist, but um, I had to do my research on everything. It was something way different than this, but it was something so simple. A lot of people were doing it and I wanted to start my own business and doing it, but I wanted to do it the right way. You know, maybe you need to do that and really ask yourself if it's something that you want. Um, because I do see you have aspirations, you have you, there's opportunities there that you want to go towards your your goals okay but it's going to take for you to really go out there and explore what is this um which this almost looks like this card 
you may even be feeling confused right now let's see what is this juggling hmm give me more on this juggling with two of cups keeping a good balance between you know maybe work and um work in your personal life okay maybe starting a business with a partner of yours or um one of your friends or something like that or maybe um connecting with others and see if maybe you are connecting with your soul group your friends your family connecting with others to relax a bit maybe you have too much going on overloading yourself and you need to make some connections or maybe you're yeah yeah try to maintain a balance between your work life and personal too okay connecting with your soul group enjoying life a little bit more because you might be way overdoing it okay because we do have the nine of swords there too what is this the stars i know i keep repeating myself but it's just it keeps coming up what is this the stars i mean the star yeah okay if if it's maybe taking a course or learning about what you really want as well like what is it maybe you're getting a financial blessing too um could be as well it's a blessing um receiving some kind of promotion some kind of recognition here learning a new skill could be as well going to school for something that you really want to do maybe taking a course of some sort to in order to get this going what is this um death whatever you're trying to manifest here what is this death it could be major changes in your work environment if you are employed right now or uh maybe major changes needed the way that you're approaching something that you're trying to manifest yeah there's a lot of struggle here regarding letting go of something could be as well or there's something here that could be um forcing you to walk away from to end something and you're struggling with it again if you want to obtain something that it's out of out of the ordinary or you're trying to manifest something it's going to take some change no matter what by the you know um hmm so maybe something here is ending and you're struggling with it or something here you don't want to end what is this nine of swords about yeah i don't know what it is that you're stressing about um maybe not having something really grounded you have a lot of ideas but nothing's really coming to fruition or nothing's really coming together uh, stressing out about moving forward um stressing out big time why are you stressing though i just don't understand this it's gonna be different for everyone but stressing about your stability if you're not here yet because i do feel like some of you are already getting past this you're going through some kind of transformation major shift in your life which is could be leading you to also your independence but there is a lack there sometimes i feel i don't know if i finished my message here sometimes i feel like it's also subconsciously that you could be um also also have that subconscious because sometimes we don't know we don't know we've been through so much so that kind of really affects us in a certain way and we don't know what's back there in our subconscious so maybe you might want to get into any you know meditations stuff like that subliminals give me more of the seven of cups but i feel like i'm i'm also i feel like there is someone here that is also how do i say maybe even working really hard and that you you might not be seeing something come to fruition
and confused because you've been trying to juggle see juggling some more and trying to juggle everything in order to stay stable so you need a balance and make sure that you are investing your time wisely um yeah what kind of businesses are you investing in are you going towards just because um, the material stuff or are you being authentic to yourself? Like I said, are you going towards something that you really are dreaming about? You've always hoped for. Choose wisely as well. But you are doing way too much. There's someone here that is way, doing way too much. Okay. Maybe start small if you're trying to break out of something and trying to reach a financial goal of yours. Um, breaking out of this mentality. Yeah, you're going to be reaching some kind of success. But for some of you, you're going to be breaking out. I said breaking out. And I don't know why I said that at first. But I thought maybe, okay, breaking out of that victim mentality. But the world is um, breaking out out reaching some kind of um, success here okay some of you of course like I said you need to um, take something um, in steps you know small steps goals okay so that is what I'm getting here I do have a Scorpio Leo um, Gemini I see all signs Virgo Taurus um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, water, earth. Okay, so let's keep going and see. I hope it helps somebody there. X. Let's see what X has. Temperance. Six of Wands. Eight of Cups. I think you had an extra message here. Media. I think you're the only pile that there was an extra message social media the artist and prudence okay you have two two that are real and then this one looks like also online okay a photographer painting wow a painter film a graphic artist web designer maybe some of you are in um social media I don't like it when I have repeats like that because it's just um, I'm going to be repeating myself the same message. I don't like it when both of them like this come out because it's almost the same message. So maybe some of you are wanting to really grow in social media, your social media presence, build a reputation for your knowledge. A lot of people are doing that now. It's so easy through TikTok. I feel like TikTok is the easiest way to go out there. You know, um, maybe stepping into this uh, spotlight and get seen. Have the courage to stand on stage for some of you. Some of you are artists or really want to get into something online. Um, getting more publicity, getting more money with social media. It will be more look lucrative. Some of you are actresses, radio hosts, YouTubers, Instagrams, Instagram influencers or podcasters singers models mass media job or something in the media okay um really really strong message it's not gonna be for everybody okay some of you of course probably just need to get out there and do something a lot more different build your reputation um get into the spotlight or don't be afraid of you know going out branching out online or branching out to something different than what you're used to um, let's see what else do we have here. Focus on the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you're getting bored where you're at. I do see boredom here, okay? I see boredom. You're doing too much. It's very draining. Maybe you're, um, also your, your credit cards, your balance, your budget is too high. I mean, your, um, balances are too high, okay? So be careful with that because I do see you drained because of that but for some of you you're in the spotlight six of wands with the temperance wow some of you are in social media or something um so this is not going to resonate with everyone i'll tell you that 
um, but you're going to be reaching some kind of accomplishment after some struggles um, you're also a manifesting here with the temperance I do feel like some of you need to be patient though okay even if you're at work and you're not into social media or anything like that be patient with the people around you because there might be some people that are trying to test your boundaries um not your boundaries oh maybe your boundaries i mean test your you know push your buttons okay so just um connect with those have patience patience with them okay some of you are needing to re-examine your priorities, like I said, because spending too much could drain out your um, bank account here. Okay, I see drain. Okay, um, tired. Maybe going towards also leaving a situation in order to improve your finances. Um, let's see. So what do we have here for prudence? Yeah, probably needing to branch out, letting things unfold naturally, going out there exploring. Um, some of you might be traveling too. That might drain your uh, budget. I mean, your, I keep saying budget. Okay, some of you need to really keep an eye on your budget here. Stay within your budget and start living within your means. Maybe you're going out there shopping online too much or something. Uh, with the two of wands taking action exploring what's out there even traveling could be draining um your finances here okay let's see what is this artist making better decisions about your money what is this artist about Ooh, the hangman doing something way different than what you're used to um yeah letting go of anything that really holds you back or letting go of starting to see things differently letting go of things that don't really serve you anymore okay focusing on the day-to-day -day life um in a um how do i say in a different way like finding ways on how to enjoy your days at work okay maybe you're doing way too much you need to let go of it surrender to it um what else seeing things from a different perspective or approaching situations from different angle yeah let's see what is this social media and media A lot of you are online or something or maybe you're wanting to do something online yeah maybe you've invested a lot of time and effort into something and you don't see success coming coming from it mm -hmm. yeah it kind of seems like you've been working a lot or waiting on something because you're looking for some kind of fulfillment you're looking for something that's really um, for a dream here you're waiting for the fruition hmm some of you are already waiting for it and it's it's been draining maybe you've been doing way too much and nothing's coming to fruition yet you've already planted the seeds for some of you you've planted the seeds it will come to fruition you're manifesting it okay so it, you know working hard doesn't mean doesn't mean hmm, how do I say working harder doesn't mean that it's going to manifest right away um, you know it has a lot to do with you your energy so you don't want to have a something you know I've learned that the hard way you know I lost a lot of subscribers when I was doing you know when I was tired <laughs> I was trying to keep up every day and, a, an empath is someone that does this kind of work i don't know how they can do it every day seriously like the energy you have to recharge there's just no way you know <laughs> especially when you're perfectionist you you don't want to put stuff out there um yeah 
that you're not really proud of. Well, that's just me. What is this um, Eight of Cups? Because it, it seems as if you're draining yourself, working on something, and it's coming in very slow. Okay. But I feel like you're going to overcome this struggle. I don't know what it is that you're trying to manifest, but you will overcome it. Um, with the Six of Wands here, receiving some kind of recognition, um, either from people or um, you might be a guru or maybe even trying to find somebody that, a mentor, somebody that will help you, um, okay? With the Temperance too, you could also be a person that brings people together, you know, and share the same ideas, working on projects or, you know, maybe you're in the spotlight here. Maybe you're a guru or a teacher or a spiritual teacher, okay? Try to stay patient, okay? With the Knight of Swords here, it seems as if you want things to, to manifest real quick. And, you know, if you want something to last long, it's going to take time, okay? Of course, once in a blue moon, we get those people that go viral. If you're on social media, go viral. It's because, you know, maybe... I always feel like it, they're going through a very special transit, you know. I wish <laughs> I'd go through some kind of special transit. Like, um, who is that? Uh, I forgot who went viral right away. They made a TikTok and they went viral right away. Is this gangster looking guy. And he's from LA, I think. Yeah, give me more of this Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, take your time. Take your time. Um, it's better if you take your time. Maybe reevaluate the things that you've already done and approach it in a different way. Um, don't do something that you might regret later as well. Take your time with it. Um, avoid people that also push your buttons, like I said, people around you. Okay, like I recently, I hate putting my own thing out there but recently i have been off social media because i've been trying to just keep to myself um and you know take care of some stuff family things you know and um i recharge but i do personals you know because i know how important those are to people so i have to put youtube on the back burner you know, so like stuff like that, you know, trying to just stay away from people that bring that kind of energy in. If your job involves something that really um, takes your energy for, you know, because if you're like in a very negative space, you it's harder to be in be in that spotlight so you can share that energy with others. You know, I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah. I don't know how people do it <laughs> being on social media every single day I try but it's just not possible let's see why is why is this hangman here well not from it's not possible for me because I have full-time job that I can't let go because I need to survive in California right now <laughs> what is this hangman Ooh, okay, some of you are maybe even working from home or there is something here that's going to be shifting in your love, in your love, in your life um, that might be shifting in your life that you might even be, you know, um, might be more happier. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're getting into something a lot more creative and enjoying life. Maybe you're finding something else and enjoying it. Mm hmm so if you can't make a living with your art full time start part time just get started something like that um, but I feel like there is something shifting in your environment for sure okay and it could seem like it's a delay but I feel like it's slowly shifting okay but whatever you've already invested in for most of you or if you are investing in something or thinking about it, it will come to fruition. It's just going to take some time. If Spirit really wants you to have um, patience, okay? Learning how to also um, re-examine your priorities. Also how to balance your priorities here. 
too okay some of you are probably needing a mentor or wanting a mentor maybe there will be some a mentor coming in and showing you maybe you you are a mentor or you're teaching um something like that but you're getting some kind of recognition for it uh, some of you are trainers or something like that or uh, maybe some of you need to have a lot more confidence in this okay maybe having that confidence to train others to teach others to be there for others some of you okay maybe some of you are tiktok tarot readers or um i don't know why i say tiktok i don't know um youtubers or something because we have a lot of social media here um but yeah that is what i see here i hope this helped in some way uh we do have a virgo taurus a lot of taurus energy air fire pisces okay let's keep going square what do we have for square six of swords Ooh, transition three of cups seven oof with the seven of swords shift wrong way this way mm, somebody could be a little confused right now or not have confidence the seven of swords oof. perfection counselor maybe some of you are into counseling psychic work or healing work maybe that is also an interest that you want to take on for some of you um maybe it's time for some emotional healing or your own release of the past because the seven of swords here i do not like okay i don't like it okay so it could be also your mental or emotional troubles could be blocking your abundance and you might be self-sabotaging too with the perfection here um huh yeah relax with the three of cups that we have here too relax nobody is perfect okay maybe trying to be perfect is really causing delays again self-sabotage um you will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure maybe you are worried that you might fail you are enough and have what it takes to improve your finances some of you are probably also very insecure or afraid to fail on something that's just for some of you not all of you um with the shift here you might be going through a shift in six of swords it's weird because it seems as if they're all connected um you might be going through towards a different towards a different direction here you're being pushed to, towards a, something di um, different but you're going towards something a lot more um, financially stable that's for sure with the six of swords um, maybe it seems like it's like a little chaotic because every time something shifts in your life and it's it's you feel forced to leave a situation it's because you're going towards you know you're leveling up or you're going towards something a lot more for you okay or maybe you're manifesting something and it seems like it's not happening or maybe you're stuck but no it's forcing you to go the way that um you're meant to in order to get to where you want to be at um i hope i made sense there sometimes i talk in circles <laughs> i feel like i do have the courage to change course continue to grow change and learn see changing courses with the six of swords um, this is not going to resonate with everyone. Okay, these are coming out very specific. Let's see what this is about because I don't like the Seven of Swords in a career reading. Okay, the Seven of Swords could also mean, um, you know, you could be doing some self-sabotaging. You could have insecurities or you could be also trying to um, get to where, get to somewhere but wanting to take shortcuts, you know, doing something that is not ethical, um, you know, because the Seven of Swords is usually someone that is not very trusting, you know, who can you, it, it could be also a carn artist. I'm not saying that you're a carn artist, but I hope not, you know, it could be that you're buying stuff um, that is really, really cheap. Like what I found out, allegedly, there's a big, um, a big, big, big uh star out there i'm not gonna say names or anything but 
they buy their products from a different country which is super cheap and they sell it maybe 10 times more here okay so yeah that is what i call seven of swords there okay not being very ethical because you're selling something way way more expensive um it could be also a con artist it could it, i'm not saying that maybe you but you should also be careful if there's someone around you stealing from you it could be friends too with the three of, uh, of cups you're maybe too trusting but we'll look more into it okay but let's see for some of you let's see what is this counselor or maybe are you being true to yourself, genuine? Um, are you doing something that you really want? Maybe you want to do, uh, you know, counselor, teacher, something like that, and you're not, you're not being true to your own dream here. Genuine, yeah. Moving forward, being confident in it. Uh, maybe you don't even know if you're on the right path. You're in this, in, on this path. And you probably don't know, maybe because you've been through some stuff and you need to release something from the past as well and move forward. Something, um, insecurity issues too, could be, it could probably not be helping you, um, energetically, you know, mentally, emotionally, that's all energy. Okay, what is this perfection? Wow, I'm so glad I did this today because my mind is just so many messages are coming in so just take what resonates because i'm just talking away i like days like this when i'm like just channeling what is this perfection perfection with the world yeah you don't hold yourself back break out of some kind of routine of a uh, fear of failure you're going to reach some kind of success everybody is different okay yeah you can get inspired by someone like i have in the past with my um my first business that i had i was inspired by my nail lady which was so random it wasn't nails my past uh, business it wasn't nails but she's the one that inspired me um which was very weird i so, but I, I learned that fear of failure, fear of not being perfect, it really does hold you back. Okay. It's this mentality. I've been there. I've been there. It really does hold you back. So you need to, um, you know, break away. Everybody is different. Even with card readings, I, I do my card readings the way that I feel that is my genuine way. Like, mm, I think I was inspired by one reader, which I don't even watch anymore because it turned to commercialized. Um, but th they do readings like me. She's she's been on YouTube for a very long time. I think she's still on YouTube. I'm not even too sure. I'm not even sure. Oh, somebody broke something. Sorry, <laughs> someone's in the kitchen right now. But um. Yeah, so everybody does their way, the way they feel is right for them. Everybody has their own unique way. Nobody's perfect as well. You know, you could be trying one way and then that's how that's how you go towards you you find your own unique way here. Mm -hmm. And you can be perfection. You know, my full-time job real quick, I'm going to just make a side note. My full-time job we I just um, hired someone that <laughs> in their interview said that they only have done one mistake in their lifetime and I'm like whoa you're gonna be making a lot more mistakes now because you know our job my full-time job there's always mistakes and it's it's seen that it feels that way but it's not you know it's just the job you know it's part of the job so like like once I heard Failure is part of your success. It's not something separate. It's part of it. Okay? It's a part of success. So uh, breaking out of the way that you're feeling, the way that you're, you're thinking. Okay? Don't be afraid of failure. My last business, I failed at it. But I didn't even feel that it was a fail. You know? It's just something just didn't work out for me. What is this shift about? 
yeah you're gonna keep going okay with the nine of wands here this is the one day warrior you've learned so much from the past and you're gonna keep going and look eight of wands okay maybe um you have a lot of ideas but it seems like you're gonna you should be going keep going keep learning from them and grow from them okay you might be feeling like you've reached some kind of ending here but no i feel like you're gonna be receiving some kind of inspired action or inspired um something's coming your way okay that's gonna be pushing you forward yeah de definitely with the six of swords here okay so let's see what is the seven of swords for some of you this has already happened you know somebody here probably came into your life and made you waste time you invested a lot of time and effort into something and and you regret it maybe someone took you for granted and that has really affected maybe you wasted your time you're feeling that way but it wasn't wasted time okay it never is okay there's always a purpose for it a greater purpose for it even though we don't see it at the time what is it seven of swords i feel like i'm doing a talk <laughs> i hope not <laughs> i hope i don't sound like that let's see seven of swords okay so with the moon here really be careful with the people around you okay the people that you keep close really use your intuition because there could be some um someone conning you or maybe there is an illusion there that maybe you're not too sure about use your intuition okay the moon it does not the moon with the seven of swords does not give me good energy at all okay uh, be careful who you go also to get readings from okay not everything is perfect sometimes i feel like um people come to me because they think that they're gonna get like a sugar uh, what is it sugar coated reading and sometimes it doesn't come out like that but you know it's life you know it's gonna have good and bad always but um just be careful because seven of swords with the moon mm, i don't like it so use your intuition okay um use your intuition and try not to take shortcuts for anything because that does come back and bite you in the you know what <laughs> okay don't take shortcuts um for some of you you're probably a little too confused or insecure okay use use your intuition use your power i'm getting to but um yeah what is this and be true to yourself okay just put yourself in other people's shoes that's why i try to give it my all for personal readings uh, well, that's the only excuse, uh, example that I can give right now. But because, how do I say, I, I will, if I go to a reader, I want them to do the same thing for me as I did, I do for you. You know what I mean? So you always want to put your yourself in, in that other person's shoes. Okay. What is that three of cups? Always. Because that... It, could either come back in a good way or in a bad way depending on you okay Let's see uh, be careful with the people around you okay there's toxic people childhood friends could be a soulmate be careful with these people it could even be somebody here trying to um give you some kind of illusion somebody that is around you could be also in love of course um that plays mind games with you okay or envious people envious people that you think that you're very empathetic to very compassionate with or you you really trust just be careful okay because i don't like this six of swords and i speak from experience i was too trusting with friends and i've had more friends backstab me more than you know in love 
uh, what is six of swords and it's so hard to trust people nowadays I do see envious people around you too. Okay, S for some of you, not all of you. Okay, so cutting out what no longer serves you. Okay, and moving towards something a lot more financially stable or a lot more grounded ground here. You're you're leaving some dark phase and going towards the sun. Okay, with the six of swords is someone also leaving. Maybe it's gonna take some sacrifices from you. But you're no longer accepting anything less than what you deserve. You see things clearly and you will grow from this. You will grow. Okay. Wow. I feel like I spoke, spoke too much here. <laughs> but that is what I have. You could be a Cancer, a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sag, uh, Libra, a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces. Hmm air water i see all signs there okay so let's keep going circle 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 okay let's see what we saw for the circle two of cups knave of chalice and nine of what is it nine of pentacles sorry i was looking at my time i did almost I'm doing almost 40, 50 minutes without pausing. Okay, good, because I have personals to get to. <laughs> okay, Peacemaker. Ooh, Rescuer. I feel like some of you are needing to have more patience. I don't know if you're in a field of you know, helping others, firefighters, paramedics, uh, rescuer, whore, heroic profession uh maybe in um yeah maybe peacemaking careers something like um, contracts unions um politics ne negotiations or i don't know any any careers in that i'm a little ignorant to that but yeah maybe um you're also being called to apply diplomacy to and tact to a different situation being a peacemaker approach situations with a win-win attitude um either if you're making business with someone but i feel like it's more of you being in some kind of profession like maybe even a nurse or hospital or something like this helping others maybe also yeah connecting with your soul group connecting with your your soulmates friends family um having patience if you don't have a job right now you will find one something that will give you with a really good wage um, to live something comfortable okay um what else yeah something like that let's see something very promising in your career life okay you're gonna be getting some kind of offer that you really love or um this is also in the field of something like um how do i say in something intuitive psychic abilities you know maybe you have those abilities or you're gonna need them you know for whatever is coming in is something that really um you're really drawn to okay let's see some of you are love the good life i feel like you're gonna be um entering some kind of phase here but you needn't to have patience for some reason let's clarify because i'm getting so many messages here uh, just take what resonates it's gonna be very specific i feel for some of you that's what i've been having um let's see maybe you're making new employment um connections what is this peacemaker about these I'm, I'm getting messages all all over this is different than all the other piles let's see okay three of cups with the hangman wanted to come out yeah surrendering letting go or approaching situations and you know bring being that peacemaker i don't know if there is maybe you're 
in a very difficult environment, you know, and there's a situation that you need to bring a different kind of vibe or letting go of things um, and enjoying life, connecting with others. Mm hmm approaching something with a win-win um attitude here and enjoy others the company of your family friends or co-workers if you're in a situation that is a little too much for you mm -hmm. like a um, something toxic at work or something you know i don't it's it's what i'm feeling here Need to let go, you know, if people are pushing your buttons. Someone else, another pile had something similar to that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What is this rescuer? Or someone may come in. Like I said, Nave of um, Chalice with the... Someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties. Someone here is in something difficult. Okay. Um, it could be anything. Okay. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. Quite the opposite. It shows your strength. Trust me, it's a strength. Okay. Um, I'm the kind of person that will not. That's actually one problem I had in my last, last relationship. I will not accept any... I'm very independent, so it's very hard for me to accept any help, and I've had to learn that the hard way. So, trust me, it's a strength. Um, wow, with the Nine of Pentacles again, that's a confirmation. So, somebody could be coming in, okay? Maybe you're very independent as well, and you don't, you feel like you, you don't want to ask for, for help. But I feel like you're going to be living a very comfortable life i do feel like someone could be coming in and helping you out though mm. let's see what is this patience patience yeah have patience if you've been dealing with too much right now try to keep a good balance with your work life your um, and your um, personal life, okay? The need to control leaves no room for divine timing to work its magic. So if you're trying to do way too much right now, you know, multitasking, trying to balance everything out, uh, let go a little bit and have faith, okay? Let go of some stuff right now and have faith that it's going to happen. Um, maybe you're not letting things just happen. For some of you. For others of you, um, it will require having faith while you're showing, showing the way or the universe will give you what your soul needs at the perfect time. You might be juggling way too much right now or trying to keep a good balance. And you're not wanting to ask for help because you're very independent. Um, somebody might enter your life though and and help you out might be getting some kind of message too something here could be also shifting in your life but you have to have a an open open mind about it okay what is this nine of pentacles because things could be shifting in your life and you might not even know it um, because you're trying so hard to how do I say it? change things yourself but you know you never know how things are gonna shift you have to just let it have faith in it you know like um I saw this man say I wanted a new car I was trying to manifest a new car and somehow and I didn't want no payment but I guess um their car broke down and he took it to several mechanics. He didn't want a new car. He didn't. And he had to take it to the car shop because he really wanted to fix his car. He didn't want no no payment. But he ended up getting a car with an affordable payment. So, it, you know, it's could be something like that that you need to let go because things are trying to fall into place. And you're probably trying to force something. You need to have patience with it. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. I don't know. It seems something like that. Um, it seems like it's that kind of energy. 
maybe it seems chaotic right now but you're needing to just release it relax go out with friends connect with friends family enjoy your life a bit you don't see it yet if you're not in this independent life and you're struggling right now you don't see it yet there this is just a phase okay it's just a phase it's just a season see something here could be probably not working out for you this is very specific it's not for everyone mm, you might be feeling way too comfortable and you don't want things to change something like that what is this knave of chalices about knave of chalice could be a great opportunity coming your way Maybe you're drawn to something that really uses your psychic abilities, of course. Um, but something here is in your favor. Yeah. You might be leaving something because something's coming in for you. You're leaving. It's going to take maybe a sacrifice from you to leave something that you know. Um, it feels like something's shifting and you're kind of sad about it. You don't want to accept it. You don't you don't know where you're being led or being pushed to but with the six of swords you you're there's a huge transitioning in your there's a there's a transition in your life that you don't see the stability that's gonna bring into your life yet okay maybe it's taking a while but if for some of you, if you're looking for a new job, a new career, you will find something that is a really good fit for you as well with the Two of Cups here. Um, maybe a new business partnership or or you're just balancing, have a good, having a good balance in your, um, your work life and enjoying life, actually. Yeah, collaborating with others, connecting with others. There could be some recognition at work, some material gains too. Yep, with a project, maybe you're getting connecting with others in a soulful way, coming together with a new project, something that really brings some kind of passion. Um, yeah, connecting with your soul group okay getting into something very creative a creative project and receiving some kind of um gains from it mm -hmm. some of you could be also into child care could be also working with younger people um something like that too not everyone just some of you some of you are probably very artistic but i do feel some kind of profession um and helping others younger than you too or inexperienced something like that yeah for some of you not of course let's see but something's coming in for you that's going to really push you by the end of the day it's something that's going to push you into financial stability okay give me more for this knight of pentacles and this rescuer one more yeah i feel like someone's coming in somebody that's gonna help you out somebody that um i want to say breath of fresh air that's weird i don't know somebody here that's gonna lighten your load or there is a new beginning that you're gonna be jumping into but you're needing to really have faith in this but i'm seeing someone here that is going to be helping you out too for some of you okay yeah okay so just take what resonates because i was just getting a lot of random messages for some of you let's see this is just a phase if you're just going through a tough phase right now and you feel like nothing's really working out it's a lost cause why do i keep working on it if it's nothing's coming true it is okay it just takes time yeah you will be reaching some kind of emotional fulfillment happiness harmony it just peace whoa you might be too mm, attached to some kind of outcome or attached to something here of maybe giving too much an unhealthy attachment 
or maybe even giving too much okay so just be careful with that kind of energy you could also be having have an attachment to an unhealthy relationship or something like that so be careful that's only for some of you okay so that is what i have i hope this helps somebody because i had a lot of different messages here seems as if most of you need that patience right now let go of situations um yeah and enjoy life a little bit more okay so let's see we have aries pisces virgo um cancer fire signs air signs water i see all signs um earth pisces okay that is what i have thank you so much and take care of you bye